welcome to grade A fun now. Okay, first, this is not a tutorial. I just want to make that clear. So you don't watch this and go, I didn't learn step by step how to specifically make a sticker. Okay. So let's let's just start with that. So so if you decide I need to dip out because I want to know step by step how to make a sticker, then you should dip out now cuz I'm just going to talk about some concepts, ideas, things to consider in your world of stickerification. If that that's not a word, I shouldn't have said that. Oh my goodness. Okay. When you start thinking about, I wanna make a sticker, what you're trying to figure out is how do I create a graphic with simplicity and clarity? Because more often than not, stickers are gonna be small. So you have to exercise some degree of restraint, which is hard. If you're an artist, it's hard for some artists because you're like I want to put lots of stuff in there especially if you're trying to make something clever or that has a storytelling to it and I like making storytelling images because that's like that's my jam so this is like a this is more like a visual pun it's a gag right so it's a present that's present I'm pausing for effect because I'm not with you but I hope you chuckle not, not like a big laugh but a small chuckle. A present, present. So if you get this sticker or if you get this on t-shirt, available in Redbubble, you can then, wherever you are, say that I'm a present, but I'm also present. Okay, mic drop, mic drop. There's simple elements that are included to push the idea over, right? So we all know that chair, that classic chair, when you're in like grade school. So we instantly connect to, oh, grade school chair. And then of course the present, we know what that is, right? Like a present with a wrapping, boom. And then when you're in school and they do roll, especially when you're young, they call your name. You have to raise your hand to say that you're there, to say that you're present. There's layers to this. I mean, catch, just catch the layers. So anyway, usually when I do, especially these kind of graphics, I usually do them in some vector software. And part of the reason for that is that if for whatever reason that I need to make them bigger or smaller, like if I decide, man, I want to put this on a t-shirt or I need to put this on a banner or I need to put this on something else, that it gives you the flexibility to change the scale without losing detail. If you do this in Photoshop or some other program that's more pixel based, um, if you ever have to make them bigger or smaller, you're going to get a uh, detail loss and then you'll get blurry pixels and stuff, which is not good for anything that's supposed to be quick punch graphics. So these stickers, as well as like the design for t-shirt stuff, they're all supposed to be quick punch, quick read. Um, so even like the little background in there, the little trees, like compositionally what I've done is I've tried to create a lot of rhythms that interplay and go back into each other. So even when the hand, the way it draws you in, pushes you up to the tongue, pushes you up to the hand, and then push you back around to the eyes, even into the brows, and then back into the trees. And then the arc in the background pushes you over to the other trees and potentially pushes you up back to the hand, into the bow, back around. So you just keep going in a circle. And the first read it is the present, right? Because that's the joke and then the little background is just like the little Christmas trees to kind of carry over the idea they're not overtly Christmas trees they're more like evergreens but it helps tie together the idea like the story the storytelling the narrative in simple narrative so you can see how just combining those simple little elements creates the idea and the concept and creates maximum impact and that's ultimately the goal when we're making stickers maximum impact um, so keep that in mind is that you want storytelling, but you can't go over the top when you're creating something that's going to be really small 
and needs to have quick readability and quick quick impact and that's effectively what this is usually with the stickers the the actual far far background is transparent so when it gets printed out that there won't be like a white background or black background so that I can stick this on something else and you'll be able to see through it uh, sometimes depending on the options sometimes you won't be able to have a completely transparent background so the way the sticker will work that there'll be a white outline blah, blah, a white outline that travels all the way the entirety around the graphic um, which is I'm okay with too I don't mind that um, but again I tried the, the idea is to design them to get maximum clarity impact usually towards the end of all these I usually will create these gradations though that go from light to dark value wise so that it punches the impact e even more that you get this transition of value and color that adds extra visual interest so stickers check them out peace if you like this content subscribe but also check me out I mean we got I got stuff on Redbubble I mean you could order it appreciate your support great fun